Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Singles Love Reading for the end of October right through to the end of November 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Okay, let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to let you know, your influences over the next four to five weeks will be your sixth house and your twelfth house, okay? Now, your sixth house is all about routine, uh, where you work. And if you do not work, it's about the structures you've built uh, sort of day to day, the things that you uh, adhere to, your duties and things like that. So you may be looking at repetitive cycles and trying to shake up new energy. Also, the 12th house can make you feel a little bit more sensitive than usual, my beautiful Sagittarians, as uh, you approach the next four to five weeks. Uh, so, for example, uh, you may um, be looking at your spiritual sort of uh, thoughts and your spiritual growth, and you may feel like withdrawing a little bit in order to focus a little bit more on you. So there can be a bit of a push and pull when it comes to finding love. They are the energies that are kind of governing your time period. Uh, but of course, you can move past those energies in order to um, transform the way you operate in love and move yourself away from certain circumstances. Now, your overarching energy for the next four to five weeks, we've got the intuition card. This is, of course, the high priestess card. And this is about you connecting, of course, to your spiritual gifts, um, going through personal development. And the high priestess energy is a card of having faith, okay? It's about using your vision to unlock any areas of your life where you feel things are stagnant. So I definitely see you uh, going inwards for answers, really looking at yourself and seeing where, in terms of love, uh, seeing areas where you feel like you have not um, put yourself out there, whether you've not been paying attention to love, whether you've not actually been putting yourself or your attention on finding love. So you're going to be changing the way you operate when it comes to love. So suddenly you may feel motivated to put yourself out there on a dating website or an app, or suddenly you're going to uh, get an invitation to something. Cause I definitely see something changing for you. Um, you'll put yourself out there and go to that event to meet new people. So I definitely see a restructure in your love life. Okay. Uh, but intuition is the key. So I, I absolutely feel that you are unlocking secrets within yourself of the things that you want in love, the things that you feel have been unfulfilling when it comes to love. And if you've experienced any disappointments, I feel like you're working through any issues or any trust issues that have gone along with that so that you can sort of allow yourself to be open. Now, I do feel like some of you will actually connect to a very spiritually uh, minded person and it will change the way that you look at love because this new person that's coming on in, I feel uh, is um, has a lot of depth to them. Okay. Uh, now we've got transformation. So this is in the uh, resistance position. So you're feeling a little bit stuck in a rut when it comes to your love life. You may feel like you're going round and round in circles. You may be looking at that sixth house of repetitive cycles, routine, where you feel like you got into a bit of a rut or a humdrum kind of energy, or you're feeling like 
you know your life is scheduled in terms of habits so you may get up in the morning if you work you go to work of course you speak to the same old people uh, and you get on the train or the subway and you come home or you connect to friends I feel like you're looking at the patterns that you are in right now and you're trying to shake things up a little bit even if you don't work you're looking at the the places that you usually find yourself so you may be looking at you know do you always go to the same restaurant do you uh, put yourself out there to try new things and if the answer is no because this card indicates um, that there is some sort of area where you're feeling stuck or you cannot let go of something and it doesn't mean you want someone from the past it can mean that you can't let go of you know um, the sense of um, you know some people can't let go of that energy of security. You know, sometimes we get complacent. We have got ourselves in a position in our life where, you know, we are focusing on our goals. We're bringing in a certain amount of money and we're just like multitasking and we just don't find time for love. So it's really about looking at areas of your life over the next four to five weeks and making changes, suddenly feeling boosts of energy where you feel compelled and motivated to change your circumstances because the transformation card death card of course indicates that one chapter of your life is closing and as that occurs a new chapter is opening for you and I feel like you're emerging um, and ready for love also the transformation card indicates that there are big changes happening you're moving on you're rebirthing yourself you're transforming yourself and I feel like positive changes are occurring for your positive, for your, your highest good. I feel like you're welcoming in the new. You're looking for new love. Um, also, I feel like you're becoming and you're opening yourself up to a little bit more of a playful spirit because you may have felt recently that you've been very serious about life in general and Sagittarius, that's normally not, I mean, you're normally, you know, very mature and serious about the things that you care about and the people that you care about. But, you know, you normally have like a curiosity about you and a playfulness about you. You may have felt that you have lost recently. You may have felt, and this keeps coming up, it's a reoccurring theme in your readings recently, where you may have felt like your wings have been clipped a little bit and you're trying to get back to a life that you once knew or you're trying to inject a little bit more excitement and happiness into your life, okay? But I definitely see you transforming a situation that has become very, very stuck. Um, with the star card, I mean, of course, it's the inspiration card. I feel like you're finding new ways to uh, get clear on what you want, but also to put yourself out there. The card of inspiration is about, you know, being inspired to shake up the energy, to find happiness. A wish is coming true for you when you get the star card. Now, some of you, um, this is a card of trusting in the universe, having farsightedness, recognizing that the universe has got your back and is delivering the, the experience in love that you truly desire. I feel like there is a wish coming true for you. If you've got Taurus placements, there's definitely something in that reading for you because we've got the rainbow there. And the rainbows come out a couple of times for Taurus and Sagittarius over the last couple of months. Well, e even over the last year. So I feel like rainbows are important for you as much as they are uh, Taurians, okay? But I feel like this is also you being a new version of yourself, okay? Uh, healthier um, sort of diets, exercise routines, more importantly, a more healthier look at yourself and um, how you deserve love. A lot of you may be healing um, from experiences um, where you've um, gone through a very uh, painful or vast learning curve in life. You may have been going through a lot of personal growth, but the star energy indicates there is a better future to look forward to. Get clear on what you want and be grateful for what is about to be delivered because I feel like uh, you are about to sort of connect in some way to new love, okay? Now, the first card of your um, Celtic cross is the Six of Swords. So this is about, you've been going through a bit of a testing time. You're coming out the other side. Your guides are protecting you and they're guiding you out of difficult times. Uh, Page of Wands uh, is your crossing card. Uh, we got the Four of Swords below you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. We got the Seven of Cups behind you. We also have the Creatrix, which is the Magician card. That is above you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, we got the Six of Cups. Okay. Now, this is a time period where, um, I mean, we're going through eclipse periods. Um, we've got two eclipses, of course. We've just gone through a solar eclipse. And then on 
the 8th of November, we have another eclipse. And um, eclipses tend to bring uncertain energy. And they can bring people from our past into our present. So um, just watch out for that because you do have a Six of Cups. But this is a singles love reading, so I'm not really going to uh, sort of uh, connect to that unless it really shows up in your energy field. Um, now, they're showing me, I'm going to stop for a moment because they're showing me something very important in the water. They're showing me a volcano, okay? And they're showing me a lot of hot, thick lava. So this can be that things are starting to hot up for you or that you have lain dormant for a while and you're about to sort of like uh, connect to someone that's very, very passionate. It's going to be a very passionate, explosive kind of, but in a positive way kind of connection. Or it can mean that you are regenerating your energy. Uh, volcanoes, whilst they can be disruptive energy, they actually uh, regenerate the land, okay? They build new structures in the land. You know, they are um, ever-changing cycles. So, um, but what's interesting about this is they're actually showing me um, a volcano, and I'm hearing some music that's like very sort of like, well, the, the image, they're showing me like a, a, a necklace of flowers as well. And this music, it's almost like I feel like I'm on a beach or something like that. Um, if I was to take a guess at it, I would say Hawaii or somewhere in that area, that area. So either you've booked a trip to um, Hawaii and you're going to meet someone there. I would, because I'm seeing a volcano as well, and that is quite a, a, a an active area of the world. I would also say if you're about to go and travel to Hawaii, I would say take precautions or check um, maybe um, online to see if there's anything about, uh, you know, volcano activity. I mean, you can never you can never truly know when a volcano is going to go off or anything, but maybe there's something there uh, in that. I'm not really sure because they're being very precise about this volcano. They're just showing me the, the, the flowers with the necklace in its in the way of a necklace and they're giving me this music that makes me feel like perhaps I've traveled to somewhere like Hawaii. Uh, I just keep getting this energy. So, um, I mean, it could be that you are Hawaiian and you're about to meet new love. It could also mean that um, you're about to meet someone from Hawaii or someone who resides in Hawaii so or has a connection in some way. I mean, it could be that someone's got a business that um, has Hawaii in the name. So it can be something that's not connected with the country. Um, so please take it as it resonates. It may mean nothing in this moment, but as um, the next four to five weeks sort of play out, it may mean something to you. For example, it could also mean that you're about to meet someone new who's got a logo of a volcano on their jacket or on a pin or something like that. So it may mean um, you know, as you're walking to a date, you see an image on a billboard of a volcano. Uh, so please take it as it resonates because I'm just reading these things spiritually. So and trying to decode the images that I see in the water. OK, um, now you want to go one more. Thank you so much for guys, green angels, justice. OK, um, let me just pop this over here for you um, now. The first card you got here is the Six of Swords. So you're moving out of difficulty when it comes to love. Also, you're coming out of some very difficult emotions. So if you've been struggling emotionally or you've been struggling with something, you've been going through a very testing time. First of all, I'm sending you a huge hug out there, my beautiful Sagittarians. Um, but your guides are actually protecting you and moving you out of anguish or out of anxiety or out of troubled waters. OK, the nine is uh, sorry. The Six of Swords can also be a card. As you can see, we've got like that peacock there okay and peacocks they don't tend to fly this one's flying um, but I feel this is something about how you look at yourself how you look at your image your body and the way um, that you sort of look at yourself uh, there's an energy here of you sort of exploring a new way of thinking some of you embracing yourself um, in a much more positive way um, you know being much more body positive about yourself now male or female not a gender specific reading it's about the energy but I definitely get this sense of you sort of learning a lot more about who you are embracing your attractiveness embracing your beauty embracing your handsomeness whatever you want to call it uh, I feel that you're getting really comfortable with who you are and you're moving on from any sort of like overthinking um, Six of Swords can also be a card of, um, how can I put that, uh, going on a journey, 
or uh, you know trans going through some sort of transition here um, I feel like you're overcoming obstacles when it comes to love and some of you may even be recovering from a difficult situation but this card tends to mean evolution so I feel like you are evolving and you're in a state of change and in this transition I feel like you're being guided to meet the person you're meant to be with okay a divine counterpart here um, for some of you you may be actually um, booking a travel uh, some sort of travel a quick trip maybe even uh, this could be for your birthday season as we move from the end of November into December but I definitely get this energy of you moving forward okay and sort of building confidence now what's crossing you page of wands you don't feel like there's anyone interesting enough to want to connect to at this time or you may feel that the opportunities that have been um, around you at the moment are you know there's no there's no spark okay or you may feel like they're not mature enough to want a high level commitment this is a card in this position of struggling and this is you know this is a page of wands so this is you my beautiful Sagittarians this is a Sagittarius card so you may feel like there's um, you know you are uh, ready for a new experience but this card indicates you need to venture forward and sort of cross boundaries you need to do something different or find a different way you need to be bolder in your pursuit of love okay uh, now this indicates also um, you being very active you being very passionate and you may because it's in a crossing position I have to read both sides so you may have felt like you have taken yourself out of the dating game for a while especially with the high priestess you've gone a little bit silent okay you've been you've gone off the boil that definitely came up in the Taurus reading as well but I feel like you're going to find that motivation and that drive to get out there and talk to new people or connect to new energies now we've also got like um a record player here so i feel like part of you is like really like over the dating game you may feel like it's the same old sort of people same old sort of questions it's just like groundhog day and you're looking for something and someone a little bit different you're looking for passion you're looking for that spark and i feel like there is a spark coming um uh, towards you in the form of a new person and it's a long-term relationship something you truly deserve and desire um, but I feel like it's more about you finding a way to meet someone who's not your typical normal kind of like you know how can I put that it's like yeah we go for a drink we talk about the same old things we go to dinner you know I feel like you want something different and I feel like this new person who comes towards you um, they're actually gonna ask you out on a date that is like left field it is off the wall it's not gonna be typical like hey do you want to go out for a coffee do you want to go out for a meal it's gonna be something like I don't know um, Do you want to go and do some parkour? Do you want to go and do like um, something? Do you want to take a riverboat somewhere? Do you want to? Yeah, I feel like they're going to ask you out to do something really different and interesting. And that immediately it sparks your attention because this new person that's coming in, they're very adventurous. And I feel like they're just as adventurous as you. Okay. Um, but the page of wands in this position can be you're fed up and bored of the way the dating game has gone so far or the way of love has gone so far and you feel like um, you, you're looking for someone different and right now you're actually focusing more on your life's purpose than you are on focusing on love okay um, now what is below you four swords you've taken a step back four swords is a withdrawal card it is a card of protection it's also a card of sort of reevaluating your circumstances really meditating on who you are in periods of self-reflection but also working out what it is you want in love now this is what is below you so right now I feel like um, you're reflecting on what you need in life okay as you can see uh, in the trees there there's an image starting to form of two faces coming together so I feel like you're in a period of manifesting love deep down you're attracting it towards you but sometimes you may feel a little bit of anxiety or you start to worry or get nervous feeling like it's not gonna happen for you your guides want you to relax okay this is a card of just having faith that you're, you're protected at this time to quieten your mind and just keep visualizing okay this is a card of coming back renewed so if you've actually I keep getting this energy of your whole reading of regeneration so it's like suddenly 
finding that you are wanting to get out there and find new love after a long period of not wanting to. The Four of Swords in this position also indicates get ready for action. You may have been a homebody or someone who has been very restless hoping to find love, but actually you've um, withdrawn from, you know, getting out there or you've been more of a homebody. This is also a card of burning yourself out when it comes to career and goals. And you may find that you've not had time to really focus on love. But I feel with the Four of Swords, this is about you sort of like preparing yourself. They'll give me the word preparation, okay? Reflecting, uh, because this is a card of also waiting, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like this is about you uh, Whilst you're waiting for love, you know, you're getting a good sleep or you're trying to, um, you're trying to, you know, reflect on who you are. This is about you closing out cycles, um, you know, getting closure on things that no longer work for you. It's about building your confidence and I feel like you're preparing yourself for love, okay? Um, now, the Seven of Cups in the past. Seven of Cups is a card of commitment issues. So my beautiful Sagittarians, I'm going to pull a card on this because this may be, you know, you've had a lot of options in love, but you found nobody that you really want to commit to. It can also be that you met a person that you loved and you opened your heart to this person and you've experienced a person who had commitment issues in some way. Seven of Cups is also a card of using your imagination, okay? But at the same time, being really honest with yourself. You're not fooling yourself. So I feel like you're getting clear on what you want and being honest. Have I put myself out there? Um, of course, the universe is going to deliver someone and put someone in your path. But at the same time, unless you're online dating, you know, it's going to be difficult to find someone within the parameters of your home, unless, of course, you're online dating. So I just want to pull a card on that seven of cups for you. Uh, thanks so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide? Uh, they're just giving me an energy here as well of you being scattered, focusing on other things, and that love has not really been a focus for you, okay? Uh, Ace of Wands. So there is a new passion coming on in, but they're indicating there is a breakthrough um, and you have to take action. Aces of Wands tend to be an indication that you also need to uh, help the universe by taking action. Um, thank you so much. They want three, so I'm giving it there. Uh, they're giving the star again, so you may be in a period of healing, but it's also a, a period of getting clear on um, what you want because the Ace of Wands indicates you're opening yourself up to new love or a new passion, a spark between you and somebody new. There's someone, this person who's coming on in, they've got a brilliant um, energy about them. They're very exciting to be with. There is a spark. You can see a future with this person. They actually energize you to um, sort of do things differently as well. Uh, also, I feel like you both influence each other in a very positive way. But the Eight of Pentacles, because we've got the past position there, this indicates you've been going through a period of uh, personal growth. Eight is the number of the self. I feel like you've been working on yourself and you've been focusing on your goals or where you invest your energy, okay? Um, and you're enjoying yourself whilst at the same time getting clear on what you want, uh, wishing for something better, to come into your life and the star energy indicates that you are you know you're manifesting a brighter future when it comes to love there's a dream come true about to happen for you okay also i feel like you are trying to have faith as you nourish yourself i feel like you will dip your toe back into the dating game okay um i definitely feel that energy the magician card in the potential position indicates you are in control to a certain degree of your destiny and it requires focus Okay, so with that Ace of Wands that came out, I feel like you're going to be inspired for a new adventure or a new endeavor, and you're going to have the energy to go forward after it. And in so doing, you're going to meet new love. The Magician card indicates that you have a lot of potential to meet somebody. You are magnetic at this time, okay? Um, but also, it is a card of action. So all I keep seeing is like... Um, Action, action. Now, they're actually giving me a song as I um, hold this card. So one moment, I just want to um, connect to that. Oh, they just give me a really short, really short burst of it. Okay. Now, this is a very famous song. This song I do know. Uh, it's a Nina Simone song. Um, and all they gave me of it, and I know the song, so I could probably give you more lyrics. But the only lyric they gave of this song is, my baby just cares for me. 
they actually it's just on a loop they just keep giving me my baby just cares for me now that's all they're giving me in the water right now so perhaps that's all you need to focus on maybe it's this person is going to um like you're very independent my beautiful Sagittarians but it's nice for someone to actually take the initiative and come towards you I feel like there is someone who's going to take the initiative as well but I feel like you're putting yourself in a position to meet that person in the first place um, that song could be relevant because you will either hear that song in the next four to five weeks which signifies change in your love life could come on the radio just after this reading could come on your your shuffle um, you know so please take it as it resonates. I feel like it's an important signifier song. Uh, it could also mean that um, finally someone you're going to meet, uh, they're actually going to um, give as much as you give because you may be someone who's an over giver, my beautiful Sagittarians. Um, now that song in particular, like I know the beginning of the song is like, my baby doesn't care for clothes, my baby doesn't, you know, um, they just came for me, that sort of thing. So it kind of indicates that this person who's coming on in for you is not uh, shallow or superficial. They care about the important things in life. Okay, but I feel like the song is a signifier for you. So listen out for it in your day to day over the next four to five weeks. Um, um, this card indicates you're creating your destiny. So thoughts are becoming things. They want you to be really aware of how you perceive yourself and how you talk to yourself as well okay um no i feel like you're trying to get rid of negative self-talk um having faith that love is coming towards you i'm just going to pull a quick card on this creatrix thank you so much spirit guides great angels four of cups yeah so you're feeling fed up with the way that love has gone for you four of cups is a feeling of disappointment or feeling uh, unfulfilled when it comes to love so far or even with the options that have been presented to you by the universe but as you can see there's a surprise opportunity being manifested right here for you that is divinely guided so you're going to get a bit of a surprise when it comes to love there's someone new headed your way um okay now they're actually showing me um, someone carving something in wood. Okay, so either this person has a hobby that they are a wood carver or they're an artist and they deal with wood um, or because the, the way they're showing me, it's like someone etching, I almost want to say they're etching like initials in a tree, but I can't really see the initials. I just see someone etching something in like wood and there's bark there and everything. So this could also mean, because we've got a Ten of Pentacles there, can mean that this is a relationship that's coming in that is solid, someone you can trust, uh, someone that will enter your family lineage, because trees tend to represent, um, you know, family history and things like that. So uh, please take that as it resonates. I mean, it may even mean that you meet someone, you go on a date, and they frivolously kind of run over to the tree and carve your initials in the tree. So, I mean, please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it does, but I'm just giving you what I can see in the water right now. Um, now that four cups indicates that there is a surprise um, love connection on the horizon or someone who actually um, connects to you in a romantic sense. Four cups also indicates look out for the omens what you're expecting hasn't shown up so far and you're bored with the options be, or you may feel like the dating game is oversaturated so you may be like why am i even going to bother because i can never find somebody um, but i feel the universe is actually going to surprise you okay now in the near future the six of cups at grassroots the six of cups is uh you know uh, an offer coming on in um you know a divine soulmate union but this card, I'm going to have to pull a card on it because it can mean like there's going to be wonderful, happy memories built um, that, you know, you're going to return to a happier period in your life. Um, but because the Six of Cups is present, it can mean someone from your past reaches out. And we've had this card showing up for pretty much every reading so far for every sign. Now, as I said, eclipses, uh, I'm not sure if I said it in your reading or whether it was in Taurus's reading, eclipses tend to, um, you know, shock us with return energy. So watch out for that. It can expose like people's feelings that they can't let go of the past. So I'm just going to pull a quick card on that Six of Cups for you. Can you please show me the Six of Cups? Is this someone from the past or is this a divine 
no, it's the emperor, this divine counterpart coming on in. So it is somebody new. The universe is gifting you a soulmate. The emperor energy is coming on in. Male or female, not a gender specific reading, but the emperor represents someone who wants to settle down, who knows what they want, is planning for the future, someone you can trust, someone who is successful in their own right, strong Aries energy. Uh, this person is realistic. They know what they want. Now, they may have gone through a difficult period when it comes to love as well, and they may be a little bit guarded, but this person does not let everybody in, okay? But my beautiful Sagittarians, this person is going to let you in, is what they're showing me. Um, now, also, the Emperor energy is to get organized, okay, to take action, to not wait. So I definitely get this sense that uh, you are um, changing the way you sort of open yourself up to love. And because of it, you're going to put yourself right in the path of love, okay? Um, Emperor. Sorry, did you just give me something one moment, please? Okay, thank you so much, I'm sure grateful. They're indicating, and this came up in the, I wish I'd said it, and I'm kicking myself that I really didn't, but I do a little meditation before every reading just to connect to the energy and see what's coming. And if any images come up in the water a second time, then I will mention them. But unless they come up, I won't mention them, okay? But it's come up again, and I wish I'd said it before because I've just noticed that two of the cards are connected as well. Um, so basically, they were showing me that the person you meet will be wearing red. OK, uh, this person will be there would be something they're wearing is red. That's red. Either it's a sweater or it's, um, you know, uh, jeans or it is uh, trousers or a skirt or um, a shoes, whatever it is. They may even have a red handbag, whatever it is. They're wearing something red that is really flamboyant. So um, and they just indicated, I mean, if you look at the emperor, there's two emperors there and they're both wearing red. So I'm just getting this energy and male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. I feel someone who is wanting to settle down, who knows what they want in life, in love, is coming into your uh, vicinity and they wear red. There's something about this person, they wear red, okay? Um, so watch out for that as well. Um, now, if you've got your eye on somebody uh, already, I feel like this person feels the same way as you do. And when they're wearing red, they may actually tell you how they feel. So watch out for that as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, there is a divine counterpart headed your way. Now, advise yourself in this moment. Seven of Wands. Don't give up on love. Love is not giving up on you. The Seven of Wands indicates you are the best you can possibly be in this moment. Or you're striving to be. So embrace your wonderful self. The Seven of Wands is a card of engaging in sustained effort, not giving up. It is about knowing that, yes, there's a lot of opportunity out there and there's a lot of competition out there, but don't feel stressed. Don't give up. What you are wanting, you will achieve. You will gain success. You will be successful, so keep going, okay? But you must believe. This is a card of belief. Uh, this is also a card of passion, pushing obstacles out of the way in order to accomplish whatever it is you do. Um, or want. Um, so this card also indicates you not compromising what's important to you, okay? You will know the right person when you realize that actually um, you don't have to change for them. They accept you as you truly are and you accept that person as they truly are. You enhance each other's experience and you are a positive addition on their life as much as they are a positive addition on yours. Of course, love will change us all but in a positive way. Uh, so I feel it's important to realize that um, you must not give up on uh, looking for love because I feel like there uh, is an opportunity coming your way that you don't want to miss. Also, Seven of Wands can indicate that you're a little bit guarded, my beautiful Sagittarians. So if you are going through a, peri a period of healing or you've taken yourself out to really focus on yourself, you know, there's no rush to get back in the dating game. You will know intuitively when the moment is right. So um, I feel like you're working through some blockages. You're building healthier boundaries. And I feel um, you are becoming a better version of yourself. We are always evolving. And that uh, Seven of Wands indicates, although you've had difficulty when it comes to love, I feel like 
there's a little candle there because they're actually showing me loads of candles right now in the water they're showing me uh, that you know it's almost like perhaps you're rekindling your spark revitalizing your spirits and not giving up on love <clears throat> now in the water the image is not going away so I obviously haven't said what I need to say about this they're showing me like darkness and lots of candles lots of candles almost like <clears throat> excuse me sorry I've been a bit unwell so um, sometimes I will lose my voice until I'm 100% better um, it's almost like like candelabra kind of like candles they show me that in the darkness all these beautiful lights it looks it actually looks very romantic so perhaps um, when you go out on a date with this person they bring you to an event that has lots of candles or if they actually invite you for dinner or you invite them for dinner uh, perhaps there's gonna be lots of candles I mean it could be um, I mean candles tend to be a symbol of romance so I mean that sounds like it's such an obvious thing to say but they're showing me it's like a candelabra type, type thing um, with lots of different candle well, lots of candles in different um, levels and it's in the darkness so I mean it could be that you're listening to this reading right now and you have a candelabra all the candles are lit and you just it's very atmospheric so please take it as it resonates it symbolizes um, you know it's a positive energy I'm getting from it it symbolizes that romance you're attracting romance at this time okay now the external circumstances four of Pentacles indicates you're on your way to where a trusting rewarding solid relationship that will lead to a high level commitment okay so I mean the four of Pentacles as you can see it's like there's a tree there the branches uh, the roots it's like taking roots um, you're going to grow a relationship with somebody but it's also about weighing up your experience you're not starting from scratch uh, to meet somebody new you're starting from experience you have a wealth of experience don't hold on to any baggage that you feel would hinder your path or keep you stagnant when it comes to moving forward and finding love the four Pentacles though indicates taking ownership uh, knowing what you need to do um, and being uh, ready to sort of find that security within the existence of a relationship that is actually headed your way okay now <clears throat> hope and fear emperor energy you're hoping for someone who wants to settle down someone who um you know someone you can trust someone who knows what they want someone who's protective of the love that is on offer okay because your love you have a beautiful love to offer my beautiful Sagittarians you have a gorgeous heart you're very passionate um and you or someone who is also very exciting when it comes to love as well so I feel like you're looking for someone who um, protects the love union um, not that you I, I hope I'm making this clear I just want to make this clear um, you don't need protection my beautiful Sagittarians but I get this energy of um, you wanting someone who believes in the sanctuary of love okay that they wouldn't let anyone from outside uh, interfere in a love relationship I'm just getting that sort of you know sanctuary of love kind of energy um, so um, also the fear here is like you don't want to meet anybody who's immature who doesn't know what they want who tries to uh, you know abuse their power over a situation or just not ready for a connection um, but I feel like you're attracting a divine counterpart at this time and they've got very very strong Aries in their chart a bit of Aquarius in their chart as well and I feel like this person has some strong Sagittarius placements which means this person kind of understands you on a level that other people perhaps have not in the past okay now the outcome energy we got the nine of wands which indicates uh, you know yes being guarded that wounded warrior you've gone through an experience in love whether it's difficulty and you've not found anyone to love or anyone who reciprocates love or whether you've been through an experience in love uh, where there was a breakup and um, you know there's a lot of pain I feel like you are coming out the other side transformed changed and stronger than ever and you're not fully giving up on love but this is a card of caution so I feel like you are guarded um, questioning is good when you meet this new person I feel like um, you will know that this person is right for you because you do a lot of questioning and it's almost like you're making sure that you notice any red flags or anything untoward but I feel that you are not giving up on love the nine of wands says uh, despite your experiences 
It's not put you off truly moving forward and accomplishing whatever you set out to do. There's a lot of growth there. Ten of Pentacles indicates a high level commitment uh, headed towards you. Um, now I'm going to pull a card and see where you may meet this person, but I'm getting a strong indication that if you're going on a uh, some sort of travel or excursion, maybe even a quick trip, there's a potential to meet that person there. But also I'm getting a very strong energy of you meeting someone through a hobby. Okay, now this could be an invitation from someone to do a hobby or it could be an invitation from someone um, who says, hey, Sag, do you want to go to that really exciting pottery class or um, salsa class? Or, you know, I feel like there's some indication here uh, that someone may invite you to something, but it's opens up a hobby to you. And um, I think it's something long term and you meet this new person through that. Okay, uh, Ten of Pentacles indicates this person is all in. And um, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is also a, a card of indicating that you will walk the journey of life with this new person, uh, that they're, uh, you know, it's like you will retire, you will meet retirement age with this person. If you're retired already, I feel like you meet a retiree who perhaps had their own business uh, and sometimes who dips in and out of the business sometimes as well because this person likes to keep active. Whoever this person is is coming on in, uh, they definitely keep active and they're a very interesting person to be with. I also feel like um, they've got their own business or they had their own business. <clears throat> And they're actually financially sustainable as well. I mean, money, when it comes to love, isn't, it's not important, but also you want someone who can stand on their own two feet and make sure that, uh, you know, they got their act together and that they are ready to open themselves up and receive love as well as give it. Uh, also, we got the Justice card. Now, the Justice card is a card of making adjustments. Okay, so it's about the effort that you put in. It normally means cause and effect. The effort that you put in is what you will get out. Now, sometimes life is not fair. It doesn't work that way. But this card indicates there's some good karma coming towards you. There is a fairness. You're going to uh, receive a love that is kind, loving, balanced, and reciprocal. There's equality in this card, okay? This is someone who's very intelligent who's coming on in. Um, again, there's a connection to the Taurus reading. Uh, so this person may work within the legal system or um, legalities. Uh, could also be that they uh, fight for social justice. They don't have to work within the legal system, but they are giving me the word legal again. Um, so this person, um, they tend to fight for what is right. They have a lot of integrity, okay? Also, this person, sorry, I'm just going a little bit deeper in this card, woman, please. <clears throat> I feel like you have a contract with this person in some way or will have a contract with this person um, or there's some sort of contract involved. That sounds really odd. So for example, um, okay, so maybe if you go to um, some sort of hobby and you have to sign a contract, to um and then give them money to go on this hobby maybe that's what the contract is i'm not really sure about that um so for example um now this is very precise and it's not going to resonate for everyone this is a small portion of you out there i'm getting a small percentage for example um there may be a frisson between you and like if you're going through a separation or a divorce uh, you may find that um, a divorce lawyer or uh, you know someone you've consulted to um, help you with a separation uh, there is uh, attraction there that's not going to resonate for everyone that's not i feel like that's not for everyone of course um uh, just let me pull some more cards on that thank you so much for it guys going angels uh the justice card indicates that you deserve love okay and that love is coming for you um it's like it's it's divine timing it's good karma the you know the law of cause and effect is in play in your life which means the effort you're putting in to finding love you will attract what you're focusing on okay we've got page of pentacles that showed up in the taurus reading as well the chariot card and the Ten of Swords. So, Page of Pentacles, High Priestess. High Priestess is about, you know, if you're someone who has been out of the dating game or withdrawn recently, I feel like you're reassessing your effort. Uh, Page of Pentacles also indicates that you're going to be talking to someone new or you're going to be very curious about someone new. I feel like there's a real spark of attraction, a lot of chemistry between you and this new person. This person, it's interesting. I get this energy where they're an old soul, but they could be a little bit younger than you. OK, uh, don't let that put you off because I feel like this person knows what they want. Um, now, this person in some way could 
could also be connected to your work environment or to a service that you sort of reach out and need or are paying for. So um, there's just an energy of that coming through as well. But Page of Pentacles, I feel like this new person that's coming on in, it's the beginning of something really special that you will cultivate with this person. And I feel like there's really positive habits in the relationship and your future self will thank you for, you know, sort of opening yourself up to this love. Ten of Swords indicates something is over. Now, it could have been a painful cycle in love or difficulty. It's like, from now on, the only way is up. The Ten of Swords indicates, you know, hardship over because you're moving on from that. The Chariot card tells me you're moving on from hardship. You're moving on from pain. You're moving on from difficulties. Okay, it's an end of a painful, difficult cycle where you feel like you have been tested. But the Ten of Swords indicates a sudden epiphany or realization that you've got to change the way um, you operate in love or you've got to embrace the journey and just go with the flow. The chariot card indicates triumph, success, but it also indicates energy, the uh, sort of um, dedication you have to make progress in love. So um, the chariot card is also a movement card. So I feel some of you are opening yourself up to a some sort of travel or quick trip. And I feel like you could meet someone new there who... Now, this new person could actually have come out of something. They could have uh, come out of uh, separation or divorce, for example, or a high-level commitment relationship. And I feel like they've gone through a period of healing as well. I feel like they understand not to take... Um, how can I put that? So this is energy coming through and I'm trying to decode it. They don't take love for granted. Okay, that's what I feel. They don't take love for granted. They've learnt. Um, and I feel they're, they're going to be wearing red when they meet you or when they go on a date with you. There's something about red, so watch out for that. But I feel this person could also be at a distance from you or in some way um, you have to travel to this person. Um, they're not in your immediate neighborhood is what I'm getting, uh, but they're, they're, they're worth the connection. Um, now, juggler. So this is about finding time for love. They're also showing me coins in the water right now. Coins, so maybe your focus is on finance or on saving for um, something in particular, so you've been working really hard. Uh, they're also showing me a rainbow. Thank you so much for it, guys. It's unusual for them to want me to go uh, a second time with this deck, but they have asked me to do that. Third eye. Okay. So, the juggler. It's number 19, which is a star card energy. So, uh, you have been going through a period of uh, getting clear on what you want. Uh, a wish is going to be delivered for you. Uh, but we have the juggler. It says, your gifted soul who needs to focus on your priorities. Okay, so it's about finding time, making adjustments with that justice card. You've received this card as the universe wants you to know that life is a balancing act. And if you prioritize your life, you can and will achieve your goals. Are you trying to juggle too many things at the present time? Or are you ignoring the things that you do not need to get done? Sorry, or are you ignoring things that you need to get done? The psychic reading card of the juggler is a sign that now is the time to focus and make things happen. When you look at the card, pay attention to what images are jumping out at you. I'll just bring that a little bit closer to you. <clears throat> this will give you an indication of which part of your life you need to focus on the most right now. Does the clock image jump out at you? Do you feel you never have enough time to achieve your goals or make time for yourself? If so, go for a walk or go to the gym, read a book, meditate, or finish things that you've been putting off. I'm really getting a strong sense as I'm reading this of someone meeting someone new, a very spiritual person through some sort of spiritual group or, um, I mean, maybe a spiritual retreat or something like that. I'm really picking up on a strong energy of that right now. So uh, please take that as it resonates. It says, <clears throat> um, does the house jump out at you? If so, it can mean that you need to focus on your finances so you can purchase that property that you've been dreaming of. If you've already got a home, it may mean you need to focus on doing things in your home, such as renovations. Does a dollar note jump out at you? It could be a sign to pay attention to your finances. Whatever it is that jumps out of you, you can recenter your life and refocus your energy. 
and accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Okay, um, so you know, I'm just focusing on this right now, see what I can see. Now this is interesting because there's no heart on this picture. So I feel like you've really not been even focusing on love. It may be like a fleeting thought, but it's not something that you've given time to, okay? That will change over the next four to five weeks. Um, we've also got a third eye activation. Um, it's number 31. When you reduce it, three plus one is four, the emperor energy. Um, so I feel, let me see. The third eye is to see the future and to see it in a more positive way. Um, it says here, your spiritual gift of clairvoyance has awoken. So open your spiritual sight today. You've received this card as the universe wants you to realize you have the gift of clairvoyance. It's time to use it. So you may even dream of your person before you meet them. Okay. Um, it says here, um, you may be developing your spiritual gifts here on this earthly realm. Um, unfortunately, as we get older, some of us are told that our unique gifts are not real, when in fact that is not true. Connect to the energy uh, within you. This card acknowledges that now is the right time to reactivate this gift and access your psychic sight through your third eye. Okay, so the gift of clairvoyance is being given to you at this time. Now, for some of you, um, you may actually be doing a lot of uh, multitasking in your life and you may actually seek a clairvoyance, someone who can give you a personal reading. And if you've just had one, they may actually tell you something like you're going to meet a person, they're going to be wearing red, or they're going to give you an indication. They may even show you, a, see a volcano for you or something like that. So uh, I'm not talking about just me, but I'm just saying that there are things that may sort of relate in this reading that you go to as a personal reading from somebody else that in some way may connect to the things that I'm telling you here. But I see a high level commitment, something that will lead to either marriage, if that's what you're hoping for. Um, and I see a divine union. Um, Six of Cups, a reminder that um, you are going to return to the good old days, but also not to dwell in the past on anything that did not go well for you or did not work out for you, because as one chapter closes, another is opening, uh, you're definitely being uh, protected and redirected. Your first card was the Six of Swords. So you're being protected and redirected to something better, something greater, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. I'm just gonna get a, um, well, we got a tree again. So this person will enter your uh, family tree. This is, I mean, you, you, I see you marrying this person, this new person who comes in, okay? Um, this is a solid connection. Um, things come full circle for you. And we've got, um, we've got the, um, I always call it my little Tinkerbell trinket because it's like a wish being granted. It's a fairy godmother type trinket. So I feel like you're going to be granted a wish when it comes to love. Um, so visualize whatever it is you want or whoever it is you want to connect to. And you will um, attract someone like that into your life. Okay. Um, and finally, the things you were meant to focus on. Tune out negative people and thoughts. That came up briefly in your reading about tuning out negative thoughts. And if you... Um, because I feel like the way you talk to yourself is really important. If you feel like you've given up on love or you've lost the motivation and desire to find love, you know, you're actually just going to coast. You're not actually going to attract uh, because you've given up. So, but I definitely see you not giving up on love and I see you um, sort of like being your wonderful self and attracting a person who deserves you, my beautiful Sagittarius. Remember, you are the one. It's also number 25 when you reduce it, two plus five is Seven, which is a chariot energy, which tells me all about success. Uh, chariot is triumph. It is victory. It is putting energy to things that are going to happen. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sagittarians. Love and light.